let's factor sine to the power of 4 of x minus cosine to the power of 4 of x. All right? This one's got a teeny bit of a trickiness, but nothing too much that we can handle. So what you have to notice here is that uh, we can turn this into a difference of squares. And so let me show you the small manipulation that I'm going to do right now. And so basically, if this is going to be a difference of squares, okay, here's our difference, and then we want to say this something squared minus something squared, okay, can I, can I say sine squared of x, and then if I square this, meaning this expression is the same as sine to the power of 4 of x, because if I square sine squared of x, I'm going to get sine to the power of 4 of x, okay, minus cosine to the power of 2 of x to the power of 2. So basically right now what I'm doing is I'm setting this up to show you that I can rewrite our trig expression as in the form of a difference of two squares. Difference of two, and now look, two squares. Anytime that you can write your expression in this fashion, we know it's going to be a plus b and a minus b, right? This is what I mean right here. So if I have a squared minus b squared, if I can write it like that, then that means your factored expression would be a plus b and a minus b. And see how I was able to write my first expression as some a. I was able to write my second expression as some b. So now my factor form of this then is going to be sine of sine of sine of sine squared of x plus cosine of squared of x. And then we have sine squared of x minus cosine squared of x. Okay. Uh, don't stop there. There's always more fun. Uh, do you notice that this right here is our Pythagorean identity? Sine squared plus cosine squared is just 1. So this is 1 times sine squared of x minus cosine squared of x. Now, can you simplify this? Not really. I mean, you can turn sine squared of x into, um, you know, 1 over cosecant or, or cos. I mean, it's not going to help us at all. So really, we're done right here. It's just going to be sine squared of x minus cosine squared of x. Okay, so I know I'm done because there's nothing else that I can really do with sine squared and cosine squared. Um, that's going to bring me down to a more simplified expression. All right, so that would be your answer right there.